Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a simple 12 volts to 220 volts DC to AC inverter with the TL494 IC and the IRF 1404 power MOSFETs. The complete circuit is as shown. The first step is to set the oscillation frequency to 60 Hz. The formula is given as shown. The timing resistor is R6 which is 100K and the timing capacity is 100 nanofar. It will set the frequency to 50 Hz. The next step is to disable the air amplifiers so that they don't affect the output and you do that by pulling down both the non-inverting terminals to ground and pulling up the inverting terminals to 5 volts through the reference pin. Connect the thin pack to pin 2 through a 51 kilo ohms resistor to set a gain of about 101. The then time needs to be pulled down so that it will not limit the output duty cycle. The output transistors are connected in push-pull configuration by pulling up the output control pin 13 to 5 volts generated by the reference pin 14. The output transistors open correctors are both pulled up to VCC which is 12 volt and they are the pin 8 and the pin 11 are used as the gate drive for the power MOSFETs. Connect the open emitters of the output driver transistors to ground. When the first transistor conducts, it will basically shunt the gate of this MOSFET to ground and so this MOSFET will remain off but the second transistor will be off so there will be a VCC voltage at this point and the gate of the MOSFET will be pulled up. The MOSFET will conduct and this will allow current to flow from the VCC rail through the left half of the primary winding through the MOSFET into ground. When the second transistor conducts, this MOSFET turns off and the second output transistor also will turn off. So there will be a positive voltage here and it will cause the second MOSFET to conduct allowing current flow through from the VCC through the right hand half of the primary winding through this MOSFET into ground. This is a push-pull inverter driver which can be very powerful and with this MOSFET the IRF 1404 which can handle about 162 amperes it's easy to output a thousand watts provided they are mounted on good heat sinks and also make sure to separate the heat sinks or if you use a common heat sink mount them on isolation pads. For the transformer select one which will match the power capacity you need you can Salvage one from an old microwave oven or winding transformer, or if you have one lying around, just use one to ensure that it has a center tap on one side and a high voltage sign. It should be returned 220 volts to 1212 volts. The transformation ratio should be 1 is to 20 if you want 220 volts. I mean this because when you connect the load, there will be a side voltage drop which we ensure that the voltage does not go below 220 volts since this ratio will give you about 240 volts if you want the PCB it looks as shown it is the battery input this the IC and is biasing such a input decoupling capacitor the one per MOSFET and the second per MOSFET is a connection to the primary of the transformer this is the center tap and these are the two end primary windings in 3D it looks as shown the PCB measures only about 6 cm by Thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also check some of my other videos. Have a nice time and we'll see you in my next video.